So today I want to show you a fun setup for the 4MS Meta module that will allow you to create interesting drum patterns and sounds. This is what it will sound like. Okay, so I already have here the VCV version of the Meta module, and the main module in this case will be the Venom Rhythm Explorer. Right, this module will generate patterns that we can then use to trigger our drums and create interesting sequences. Now, this module needs a multiplied by 24 clock, it needs a 24 ppqn. So, I will use the Bog Audio Rgate module, right? This can multiply an incoming clock. So, you can use any clock source from your system, right? The gate output will go to the clock input of the Rhythm Explorer. And the clock itself will come from the system or from the meta module, right? This will be a gate input one, it will go to the clock input, and I will use gate input two to reset our gate and to reset also the sequencer, right? So you can also reset things from your system. Now, just for this demonstration, so we can also listen to this, I will use an LFO as my clock, right? The square wave will go to the clock input. And again, we need a 24 PPQN, so I will use the, or I will send the, set the uh, clock multiplication to 24. Right now, uh, for the drum voices, we will have three drum voices, and um, all of them coming from plets or macro oscillator too, right? Of course, also available on the meta module, right? We will have one kick drum. So in the right click menu, I can change the mode here to analog bass drum. Then we will have a snare with the analog snare drum. And then we will have a hi-hat analog hi-hat, right? So we will have three voices all in all. And then the first um, trigger output here, the first gate output, the first sequence will trigger the kick drum. And now in these percussive modes on plets, another trigger in the level input will act as an accent, right? So I can use another sequence to trigger accents, right? And again, we have also the snare, so trigger and level or accents. And again, for the hi-hat, trigger and accents. Now, all three voices will go to the three outputs or to three outputs on the meta module so we can process them individually if we want later on in our system. But I will also like to mix them and I will use pressed duck from CV Funk, right? This mixer has built in compression, built in feedback, even side chaining or ducking. Right, so I will send a copy of, a, of the kick drum to the side chain input. I will take the level all the way up, but the ducking all the way down. Later on, we will have control over the ducking amount. Right, and now what I will do, I will also mute this channel and in the right click menu, enable muted side chain steel ducks. This means that if I want to process the kick individually and take it out of the mix, we can still use it to side chain different elements. So now we need also to mix in the kick drum. So the kick drum, another copy will go to channel one. Then we have the snare and then we have the hi-hat and the mix will go to the meta module, of course, so we can listen to it also. And in this case, also to the main output. Now I will change also the divisions on the Rhythm Explorer all to 16th notes so we have more resolution, right? So I can just click uh, the, um, the squares here and this will change the resolution or I can right click and choose six, uh, 16th notes, right? Again, just so we have a bit more resolution to work with. And we have two more channels here that we can use to trigger other voices in our system, right? So this will also go to the meta module. So then we can connect this and trigger other voices. And now we can start creating sequences, right? So this will be, for example, the main sequence for the kick drum. Let's just change the settings here so we can listen to everything. Right, and now I can start changing the settings here on the kick drum. Take the frequency down, add more click, change the decay, more drive. Right, and again with another sequence we can change the, or add accents. 
Right, and then we have the snare. This and then accents and then hi-hats change again the sound right and add accents right so already we have the rhythms and again we can change here the settings right on the mixer ducking if you want, feedback, and also here on the Rhythm Explorer, right, we have the different sequences, but we also have phrase and bar, which means that we can create variation. If I take the bars all the way down, right, we have just one variation. If I take this all the way up, we have 16 different sequences chained. Right, and you can add even more phrases, so now we have 32. just so it's a bit more repetitive, we'll take this down to four, let's say. Right, so we have sequences, we have sounds, we can change the sounds, of course, everything later I will show you also will be mapped, so you can do everything from the meta module, but I want to add some modulation, I want to add some movement here. So in this case, I will use the sample and hold module, also from Venom, right, this will output um, step random, and modulation or voltage or signals right so we can then use for modulation so for example i can use for the kick drum i will use the first sequence and then we have timbre and morph and again, later on the meta module you will see also what it means right so the timbre is color and morph is decay right so now i can add some modulation here but i want also to modulate the harmonics but in the case of the harmonics, we have no dedicated or ded dedicated um, attenuverter, right? So I can add the quad polarizer or attenuverter also from the same collection from Venom. Use another channel and then send this to the harmonics. So now we have here also attenuversion. Right, I can do the same for the snare. Take the trigger for the snare. By the way, the triggers here are normal, so no need to connect all of them. Right, and again we have timbre morph, and then through the attenuverter we have harmonics, right, so also here we can add some modulation, and the same also for the hi-hats, right, we have timbre and morph, and then also through the attenuverter for the harmonics, right, so we can add modulation. So now we have also some movement. So again, three voices, they are mixed. We can process them individually. What I um, also want to do, I want to send, I have here three more channels on the mixer, right? I would like to send the meta module to three more, uh, the three more channels, and then I can use or process external signals also with the mixer or with the compression, with the feedback, with the ducking. Right, and again, you will see this later on, but now let me show you the final setup here with all the mappings ready. So this is what it looks like. Again, we have exactly the same modules. I have here R-Gate and the Rhythm Explorer, right, and the modulation through the attenuversion, three plats, again, exactly the same um, setup, but here I have everything already mapped, right? So we have a um, page here for the kick drum, Right, we can add hits and accents, tune it. As I mentioned before, now instead of, say, of saying timbre and morph, it says exactly what it controls. So we have here drive, color, and decay. Here we have also the modulation that we can add. Then the same also for the snare. Right, uh, for the kick drum, by the way, I added also here ducking amount. So this will control, right, you can see this on the mixer, the ducking amount on the mixer. Then for the snare, we have the same controls here. Again, also here, instead of saying, saying timbre and harmonics, it says what it controls, so noise, color, and decay. Then we have for the hi-hats, right, again, with the modulation. Then, then there is the main page. Here we can control the clock multiplication, the number of bars and phrases. Then the levels of the different voices, kick, snare, hi-hats, and also the external inputs, right? We have also the 
the channels that we can process externally. Right, and then we have here compression, feedback, and overall level. And then I added another one. I didn't have space, so I added another um, page here just for the two triggers, the two um, additional triggers we have, one and two, right? The two additional triggers we have here that we can use to trigger things um, later on with hardware in our system. So this is basically how it looks like. These are the mappings. Um, and let's take a look at it now with the hardware module. And this is how it looks like on the meta module right here. For example, I have the page for the kick. So I can add hits. Right, I can add accents. I can change the sound itself. Right, so for example, add more drive, change the decay. Right, again, add modulation. Right, the tune it. Right. And then I have it also, as we've seen, I ha we have also individual outputs. So I have it also processed. It's going here through the Make Noise, Borussia, and Starlab. Right, so we, ha we have here another layer. Right, so we can also process them individually. Then I have here also, for example, the snare page. Right, so we can add hits, add accents. Right, and again also here add modulation, for example, for the decay. Right, maybe change the color a bit. Right, so we have also the snare, then the hi-hat. Again, hits. Accents, again modulation. Right, so we have a whole a whole drum sequence here. Here I have the main channel, so here I can change how many bars I would like and how many phrases. Right, I can add a bit more bit more variation, I have the different levels, and I have also the compressor and the feedback, the overall level. Right, and I have here also external voices that I can process through this mixer. So for example, I have here a bass. Right, and it's also side-chained, or it's also ducked to the kick drum, and an arpeggio. Right, so again, and it's all coming from the meta, or at least the drums, and the processing, right, with the mixer, with the compressor, with the feedback. And that's it, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you again so, so much for watching. Cheers.